Hey, Superman, get it! Ow. Nice throw, Superman, right Ouch. on the bull. Ah. Let that stupid Mikey go. Hope to throw JJ to fly. No. Uh -huh -huh. Now. It wasn't very pleasant to fly uncontrollably for so long. Apparently, we bored them very much with constant requests for autographs. Mikey, you okay? Of course I'm okay. It's not the first time I've flown like this, unlike some people. So welcome to my world. To a world of the perpetually offended? The world of the eternally offended is now a superhero village we've just been thrown out of. Totally agree, Mikey. But what do you suggest we do now? What do you mean, what? Revenge, of course, JJ. Don't play dumb. We're gonna get revenge on those superheroes. Just make sure you bring plenty of food before they notice. Okay, Mikey. I guess you're in charge today. But how are we gonna get back at them? Because they're superheroes and we're not. Oh, now I see why Mikey asked for as much food as possible. He just wanted to help you, fellow superheroes. Here you go. We're leaving. Get out of here, you annoying boogers. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll get a giant slipper and giant slap you. Do you understand me? Come on, shoo shoo. Ouch! Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Iron Man. We're on our way out. Just don't hit Mikey again. He's not quite recovered from the landing yet. Mikey, stop it. Your toy eye lasers are useless against real superheroes anyway. You're just pissing them off. Let's just sit back and take a break and decide what we're going to do and what you mean by revenge. Come on. I doubt they'll really just stand at the door and wait for us to come out. Yep, yep, yep. Although, of course, if you like getting beaten up by an Iron Man, you're welcome to come out. I'll just slip out and quietly leave and forget about any revenge because I'm not going to do it alone. Wow! That's right. You're a genius, JJ. We don't have to go after superheroes alone. I'm sure there's someone else who'd like to get revenge on the superheroes. Who, for example? Supervillains. I'll think about your supervillains, but first we get revenge on the Hulk for his incredible throwing me across the village. All right. Let's go and see where you think he is. I think he's in the shower as usual. All that sweaty green giant has to do is shower all the time. Let's start there. Okay, let's go. What have we got here? Oh, there's a real Hulk showering in here. Come on, let's bust his balls. Let him try to wash them off now. Ha <laughs> ha! Serves you right, you evil Hulk. Don't throw babies. You got it. Yeah, come on, Mikey. Let him walk like a frying pan. He's so angry, he fried all his eggs on himself. Yeah. You're gonna get what you deserve, Mr. Evil Hulk. <laughs> come on, come on, attack! What are you going to do to us? What you'll do to us? You'll do nothing, you're weak. You're weak, bebebe. -be -be. Okay, he's really dead. Of course not. I'm not being sadistic. He's just very tired. Let him rest at last. All right, I'll try to believe you. But that was the first and last time. You better tell me what we're gonna do against the other superheroes. Nothing. They won't do anything to us. Oh no, them again? Have they forgotten how we threw them out last time? Ignore them, Superman. Let them make noise and go away in case they think we're mannequins. I'll give it a try, but if I get bored, they'll fly me to the moon. <laughs> Did you hear that, JJ? They think we won't notice them. Let them keep thinking that. Do what you want. All right, then I suggest we try on their incredible super suits. What do you say, Mikey? They're not going to take them off us, are they? Of course not, Superman. Don't worry, they said they know we're just pretending not to notice them. And I love the way these masks look on us. Should we take them away for good? There, look, Captain America already has one. I think he's had enough, but we don't have any. Isn't that right, Mr. Captain America? I think he'd say, yeah, sure. You guys take as much as you want. I'm fine with the bowl I have on my head. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no, I think I pissed him off. Run, Mikey, run away from them if you don't want any trouble. What are you doing stuck in there? You're doing your usual, Mikey. Come on, hurry up. Now! What do you mean, JJ? I've already beaten you a few times. You hurry up and that evil Captain America will eat you up. Oh, hiding from those superheroes in the house again? How annoying. What are we gonna do now? They probably won't even bother us this time. They'll just blow up our house and go on with their heroics. You're so obnoxious, Mikey. You always need these problems. You always wanna get yourself in trouble and you keep dragging me along with you. Is that what friendship is? Or is friendship with you so different from normal life? Okay, to be honest, I'm over it. I'm just tired, okay? No, it's not okay, JJ. Stop dumping all your problems on me. Just because you managed to piss off Captain America himself, I wonder how you managed to do it. Okay, never mind. Let's just figure out what's going on outside. I don't think there's anything good going on out there. I agree. Somehow it's unusually noisy outside. 
What could be going on out there? Oh, you better not come out, Mikey. These villagers and their superheroes are clearly not happy with us. <laughs> I don't think that's a problem for me. I'm gonna solve it now, look. What are you up to again, Mikey? I'm afraid to wait for your solution. What do you want to do to those poor villagers this time? Don't tell me that like the Hulk you're just planning to, I don't know, tire them out? Wow! Oops! Oh no, running away from those superheroes again. And next time, Mikey, don't you dare say it's all my fault you pissed them off this time. But my solution is firstly very effective and secondly very fun. So don't complain, just run. Otherwise, the nasty evil villagers and their spear heroes will bite your heels off. Go on, run like a turtle. Oh, wait a minute. I'm the turtle. I'm sorry. It was my fault. It really was my fault. <laughs> Since the superheroes certainly won't forgive us, we'll have to get revenge, just like you planned, Mikey. Come on, show us where your supervillains are. Or are they hiding in the corners too? Sure, because Mikey is our main supervillain, he's the one who's been going around nightmarishing everyone in the world, both good and bad, good and evil, and even those who are loyal to your antics. It feels like he is the main supervillain of this whole huge story. And who am I? I guess I'm like a stolen princess in a fairy tale, waiting for her prince? But for now, my prince is still bewitched and has to walk around as an ugly turtle? Okay, Mikey, can you at least explain why we're crippling these soldiers? Or are they superheroes too? Although they don't look like superheroes. Okay, come on, I'm tired of talking to myself. Answer my question. Are you done? Thank you. It's just that all these soldiers are guarding one very important character to us. We're definitely going to have to beat them all if we want him to hear us. So just follow me and cripple everyone we can. Okay, I'll follow you, but not because I'm intrigued. I just want to go home and continue living my life as before, without these stupid superheroes, without this nasal behavior of theirs. Because they walk around here thinking that they can do anything, but they can't do anything. At the very least, they should be forbidden to throw crumbs like us. I still have a bump on my head from this, to put it mildly, unsuccessful landing. Oh well, let's call your important character, a few more supervillains, and then we'll show them what it means to hurt children. And if they still don't understand, we'll have to do the most terrible thing in the world. Huh? Take all the sweets. Are you sure, JJ, that they'll be scared of this? Of course, Mikey. Would you be happy about all your candy being taken away? I would be really upset about that. And have you seen how big their Hulk is? I bet he doesn't even know what healthy eating is. Then I totally agree, JJ. What kind of little children came to discuss their childish affairs with me? No, did you really burst into my office and berate all the security guards to discuss who was more offended because of a lost candy? As a supervillain, this simply offends me. Leave my office, otherwise you will never see the candy yourself. Oh, oh no. no! Forgive us very much. We didn't want to come in without knocking, but your stupid fighters wouldn't let us utter a word in your presence. So you decided to dump on me everything that was bothering you since you left. As soon as you eliminated the last, as you said, stupid fighter. Oh, what a complicated and ornate speech you have. Let's just come with us and we'll punish these bad superheroes together. Do you agree? Seriously? It's that simple. Okay, I'm in. Let's go. I'm even interested in participating in this. Wow! Everything turned out to be much easier than I expected. Let's go call the rest of the supervillains. When we are not alone, it will be much easier to do. Let's hurry, before they all run away. Otherwise, it will be difficult to find them later. Yeah! Quick, Mikey, before the Joker notices that I took gold, diamonds, a sniper rifle, and even the Infinity Gauntlet from his chest. I hope he won't be too upset if he notices it's missing after we do, but if anything happens, we can blame it all on his worthless subordinates. We'll say they stole the Infinity Gauntlet. What? What did you take from my chest? How dare you? You could have at least asked permission. Don't forget to return it as soon as it's all over. Yes, yes sure. sure! Okay, what villain awaits us next, Mikey? Who shall we call this time? It's just that I don't know which of them can really be trusted. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I see Loki. Oh, and he sees us. I don't know if we should be happy about this, but it looks like he's calling us to him. Mikey, are you sure we need such a dangerous ally? Of course. After all, if Loki is dangerous to us, then he is even more dangerous to the rest of the superheroes. Besides, who else but Loki could have so many supervillain friends? I think he will lead us to someone who can definitely help us. Whoa! Whoa! Welcome, young people. 
I have already heard about your, so to speak, exploits, and I am already waiting for an offer from you. Is this the real Thanos? No way! Hello, dear Thanos! Yes, we have an incredible offer for you. Just help us, and we will give you an incredible artifact that we stole from the Joker himself. Hmm. <laughs> Stealing is not good, kids, but if you're talking about the Infinity Gauntlet, then I agree to everything. Even the so-called rebellion against superheroes. Come on, what is your plan? Uh, yes, of course, about the Infinity Gauntlet. Here you go. But as for the plan, we don't really have a plan. Of course we have a plan. What, JJ, have you forgotten? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I got it. I mean, I remembered. We just wanted to call all the supervillains to one big mess and give the superheroes one big coordinated strike. What do you say, Thanos? This is certainly not a plan. But since you gave me the Infinity Gauntlet so easily, I agree. I will lead you into battle. Just follow me. The main thing is not to lag behind. Otherwise, you will come to your battle when everything is over. Because my army will go with me. I hope you are ready. Yes, of course. We are always ready. Let's go into battle. I can't wait to see the surprised faces of all the superheroes when we come to them with a real army of supervillains. Well... I hasten to disappoint you, Mikey, but you still will not see the face of the Iron Man because he always hides it behind a mask. In any case, I agree with you. Let's defeat them all already and put them in cages so that they know that it is not good to offend the little ones. Otherwise, the little ones will come back with big ones and even very big ones and not necessarily even people, but also eggplants and they will be punished. Who are you calling an eggplant, you little one? <laughs> oh, apparently Superman has already given up, but the Ultron robots are advancing. I will shoot them with my, or rather Joker's, sniper rifle. I see the Hulk is already in battle. Sorry, Mikey, I didn't believe you then, but you were right. He really was just tired. Yeah, go ahead, attack. There's enough ammo for everyone. Yeah, JJ, you're a really good shot. I guess I'm out of ammo, but I can't tell for sure because I can't count. But that's okay, because like Thanos, I can just go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, it all adds up to us winning. The supervillains winning. The superheroes losing. Now that's what I call a battle. It's been a long time since we've had such a global event. Hey, don't forget, I can't shoot too fast towards the opponent either. And sometimes, I also resort to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. That's it, Iron Man. You shouldn't have thrown Mikey around. He's not that bad that you just throw him out of the village. Especially since you shouldn't throw such a vengeful person like Mikey out of the village. It's good that you don't forget about Mikey, JJ. Move on. I think he needs your help right now. Yes, already there. Huh. So, what do you say now, so-called superheroes? Now sit before us, handcuffed, just like bandits. I hope you are ashamed of your behavior now. Maybe you want to say something in your defense. No, better keep quiet. I don't want to hear anything from you. I am disappointed in my idols. Not only do they bully the younger ones, but they also couldn't defeat their own sworn enemies, even though they were all together. Aren't you ashamed? Shame. This is just a terrible sight. Now you will sit in this improvised cage for the rest of your lives, but you will always have time to think about your behavior, and maybe we will even forgive you someday. And of course, the villagers. I hope you are also very ashamed of the fact that you defended these so-called heroes. Don't worry, a cage awaits you too, where you will definitely think about everything. The main thing is not to forget to pay the supervillains for their exorbitant help. Otherwise, they will get angry at us, and we will be sitting in shameful cages, Mikey. Do you have the money ready, or do I pay for everyone as usual? No, I don't have any money with me today, JJ, as always, but I do have a solution with me, as always. No! Oh, Mikey! How many times do I have to explain to you that killing everyone is not the solution? But again, I didn't kill anyone. They just wanted to take a break. And besides, they're still super villains. Okay, okay, I agree. They are still villains. And since we have locked all the superheroes in a cage, we will probably have to fight evil in this world for some time ourselves. But never mind. Remember, we have already had this experience, so I think we can handle it. Well, that's it. We've beaten everyone. Now we can really have fun in this village without expecting any tricks from anyone, except maybe from Mikey, who really loves shooting at me. But that's okay. I like shooting at Mikey too, especially since he's just impenetrable and you can shoot him with a cannon. He can withstand any blow. 
By the way, it's a good idea to shoot each other with a cannon. Let's try to get to the moon that Superman promised us so much. Yes, now we can definitely do anything. Hey! <laughs> Even things that the villagers might have forbidden us to do before. After all, they're also punished now, and they won't come out of their huge cage until we want them to. The only thing is, we should probably cover this cage with something later. Otherwise, it might rain. They'll all catch a cold, and we'll still have to treat them all. Can you imagine how difficult it is while the patient is in the cage? Well, I can't imagine either. So I think yes, Mikey and I will definitely come up with some kind of giant blanket. Whoa! Thank you very much, of course, for the flowers, but who are you? A man with a huge skull on his chest and an equally huge bouquet of flowers in his hands. I'm seeing you for the first time, but apparently I'll be saying goodbye to you, and not to Mikey, who apparently died of boredom while I was delivering my incredibly interesting monologue. Bye-bye, kind burning man with flowers. Bye-bye, Mikey. 